Uh, we are here this morning at Albany's and we are going to meet with Bethany who is going to give us a behind the scenes tour and how all the candy is made here that is shipped out and put smiles on millions of people's faces over the last 40 years. And we're getting ready to go through security here because it's a very uh, tight run operation. Hi. Thank you. Here we are. Bill, how you doing? Doing great. I'm Dave from the South Shore Convention Visitors Authority here. I'm here to see Bethany. Yes. She's going to give you a behind the scenes tour of uh, the facilities. Yes, sir. Hey, Dave. Hi, Bethany. Thanks for coming out for the tour today. Thanks for having me. Come on back. I am here at Albany's Candy Factory, and I'm going to get a behind the scenes tour, and I have no clue what I'm walking myself into. Dave has no idea what's in store for him today. I'm going to run him through the ringer of this place. Bethany, I am so excited to get started with this tour today. Wait, we've got to get suited up first. What? Yep, we got to put on all the gear and able to go out in the factory. And this is the first I'm hearing about this. Absolutely. Is this a requirement? Absolutely, you have to. We can't have any of your fuzzy fibers in my gummies. I don't want that to happen. Whoa, Dave, you got dressed so fast. Well, hopefully this is um, this is correct. I think so. You can put the beard net under your nose though. You're oh, okay. okay. There, there we go. go. There we go. I went away laughing. These are just... <laughs> these yeah, are, just, are you guys used to somebody wearing these? Yeah. It's nice and cool in here. Oh yeah, temperature controlled facility. So this is our warehouse we're walking into. This is where we star, store all of our raw ingredients for gummy manufacturing. Dave, what do you think this is? It's a pallet of product. What kind of product do you think is in here? It is TT6120. <laughs> cheating, cheating. Okay. Guess the ingredient. Sugar. You're right. Oh, All right, Dave can get a job guess. here now. Yes. Okay, so this is one pallet of sugar. It weighs over 2,000 pounds. We use over 300,000 pounds of sugar every week. So this is how much sugar was in one gummy? J no, <laughs> I think we'd all be diabetic if that was to happen. <laughs> so my dad and my mom were the ones who started the candy company. My grandpa was the one who made us come to Indiana. We were actually supposed to start the business in Illinois. So they just decided to start a candy business, which most people go, why a candy business? Actually because my parents were Italian and we were known for making good food, Italians are, and they didn't want to do the restaurant business. So they decided what better way to share good food than through candy. So is it, so is it true not only do you sell candy here in Northwest Indiana, but you sell it everywhere in the United States, all over the world, and even it's been in outer space? Yeah. The fun fact I think people don't know is that it has been to outer space. Um, we actually had a local uh, wife of an astronaut um, who had contacted us and on his mission several years ago asked if we, he could take some of our gummies up with him. It's definitely out of this world. Yep. <laughs> shape of the gummy. Above us is the kitchen that makes the gummy slurry with all the special ingredients, sugar, corn syrup, flavor, and then it pours down into our depositing line. So right behind you, we're making gummy worms. Gummy worms, okay. So we have a mold that makes an impression into a corn starch to make the worm shape, and then the gummy slurry pours into each shape, and then we go into our drying room for 24 hours before we bring it back out to shake the product out. So how, how many different shapes of gummies or types of gummy products do you have here? We have over a hundred different shapes. Really? Yes. And, and truthfully, if I wanted to, we could take your hand and push it into cornstarch and make a gummy the shape of your hand. Uh, I don't think that would sell very well. Dave, I want you to check something out. You want me to climb in? No, no, oh, okay. no. These are the gummy worms we just made yesterday. Oh, wow, you guys can't believe it. This, this is incredible. This is the freshest gummy you're ever going to eat. Right here. Oh, that's so good. That is the freshest gummy I've ever had in my life. Using this small piece of equipment, equipment we joke is an intelligence test. Oh, wow. Because some people... They just have a harder time with it than others. So you stick your heel in, okay. toe, push your toe down, and then just pull back. Heel, toe, whoop, and then pull back. Heel, toe, pull toe, back. Pull back. And you can use this to hold on to so you it don't. You don't fall over. Yeah. Heel, toe, pull back. Pull back. There you go. So do you have to be a little bit nuts to make nuts around here? <laughs> it is an on the job description. So that's actually where the business got started after we opened up the candy store. 
we bought our first used nut roaster and my dad started roasting his own nut meats and sent out a direct mailer to local businesses. And once they started buying and calling him to buy some freshly roasted nut meats, he was, that's how Albany's was born. So that's how it began. To our knowledge, we're the only manufacturer that still roasts their own nuts fresh every day and then immediately chocolate coats them. So there are only two ways that you could actually chocolate coat an item. So you, this is called a belt coater. You throw the nut or the inclusion in without chocolate. You turn the machine on. As the belt rotates, we've got gold nozzles that are drizzling down chocolate. That's all chocolate, right? That's there. all chocolate that you're seeing. And we have an air conditioner blowing in here that quickly hardens the chocolate around the item. So we're doing malt balls, our famous triple dip malt balls. Okay. And so we leave them in here for a specified amount of time to ensure that they're consistent and all the same size. And then once they're done here, they go over to our panning room. I have a question for you. Okay. Do you know why we have to shine our product up? Americans will buy more shiny product than they will doll. So it's only for pure vanity that the chocolate is shiny. Really? Yep, not for eating quality. So we got breaking news right yep. here at Albany's. Yep. I, am I assuming, and this is probably an assumption on my part, that if you're the employee of the year here at Albany's, that you provide a Willy Wonka tattoo for your employees? I don't know who told you that. I started here 12 years ago. Um, started as a temporary employee, slowly moved my way up. Uh, because of Bethany. Came to the chocolate department uh, and just extremely dedicated to uh, the chocolate room and chocolate in general. So dedicated so that I uh, decided to get a uh, Willy Wonka tattoo. Well, what I've noticed between just a conversation with you is the connection you have with your employees. You're, you're intimate with these folks, you know who they are, you're invested in them. Yeah. Okay? And the Albany's family, which was built 40 years ago, is now 700 strong and, and, and that's an incredible accomplishment to you and your family. Yeah, and we love we love partnering with other local businesses, obviously through the South Shore and then on our own. Uh, we do a lot of luncheons here, we do a lot of community events um, just at our local vendors and it's, it's really a highlight for us to be able to give back not only with the goods that we manufacture and how delicious the candy is, but also through people. Bethany, I just want to say on behalf of the South Shore Convention Visitors Authority, first of all, Congratulations on 40 years, Thank your you. anniversary here. And uh, the tour has been fantastic. Uh, your employees have been, been very welcoming, and such as yourself and your family. So thank you for the tour. Wait a minute, I got one more surprise for you, Dave. You do? Yeah, let's go. So what I wanted to end the tour off with was of course sampling. How could you leave without trying something? Do I have to try each one of these? I mean, that would only be fair to you give it, you a true opinion. Absolutely, right? Okay, how much time do we have? <laughs> Come on back, we'll have you try some favorites. So which what is this here? A peanut butter peanut. So it's a peanut covered in peanut butter covered in milk chocolate. Do you know how this was produced? In our factory. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me try this. This is great. Well, what an incredible facility here at uh, Albany's factory. Uh, Bethany gave us an inside tour. I couldn't believe how big this facility was, how many lines there were, how many candy selections they have, and how the freshness of what's produced here is uh, our own backyard here. So. Uh, what an incredible experience, and USA made, USA products, uh, employees being uh, employed here out of, the, out of the region, and uh, it is absolutely 100% the American dream taking place here in Northwest Indiana.